This is a gorgeous little brook trout. Awesome. Pristine, actually. Hi, my name's Roger Osborne. Today I'm fishing with lures using a light spinning outfit. As you're hopefully enjoying the beautiful shots we've captured, I'm also going to explain what I did. I'll be giving you some tips for success when fishing for trout and putting them into a free PDF which you can download, so stick around for that. Details of the exact lures that I've used are in the description. And I've also put a link to my products page where you can purchase lures or any other gear if you want. It really helps my channel when you use these links, so it's much appreciated. Fishing pristine alpine rivers for trout is so good. It's hard to put into words. It's just so good for your soul. Now before you plan your trip, always check out local fishing regulations and bag limits because they change depending on where you are and what time of year it is. Treat this beautiful environment with respect by leaving no rubbish and walking carefully through the bush. As I explore this river, I'm looking for areas of deeper water at the bottom of rapids. Trout love the oxygenated water at the bottom of rapids and also wait for morsels of food to be washed downstream. Note also that they are happiest in cooler temperatures. If the water goes over 18 degrees Celsius or 65 degrees Fahrenheit, you may not have much success fishing for trout. I also like to cast to the opposite side of the river, really close to the shore, in the shaded areas below bushes and trees, where the fish hide in wait for food to come past. One of the challenges is to find suitable vantage points on the river where you can cast into good water. You have to carefully push through the bush and sometimes you have very little room to move, or you actually need to stand in the water to be able to cast. Lots of people wear waders for this, which are great if you're spending a lot of time in the water, especially when it's cold. Casting upstream is preferred because the fish always face upstream and you are approaching them from behind where they can't see you. However, I catch many fish casting downstream or across stream. Big male. Got down the log to take the rod. That's right, I'm just going to bring him over here. Look at that, that's a cracking fish. Look at him. He's a stunning fish. The main thing is to be a bit sneaky and try avoid being seen by the fish. A long cast is helpful in this regard. When casting across stream or downstream, a fast retrieve of your lure is not required because the flowing current of the river aids the action of your lure. The main point is to keep your lure travelling at a speed where the action is working beautifully. You can test this by putting in a small cast and winding close to you so that you can see the action of your lure and get an idea as to how fast you should wind it in. When it comes to lure selection for these Australian streams, I have found colours that work really well are combinations of gold and red. Look at the markings on his fins, the, the red and the white. Yeah. Just a beautiful freshwater fish. Let's put him there. Casting lures in small rivers certainly hones your casting ability because there are plenty of obstacles to avoid. But I love the challenge of improving my accuracy with casting. One on.
That was a surprise. When playing fish, take your time and allow for the extra drag placed on the fish by the flowing water. Look for an appropriate place to land your fish. All of the trout that I've caught today have been brook trout, which is surprising because they're much less common than rainbow trout or brown trout. They are a beautiful fish and it's great to see them doing well. This is a gorgeous little brook trout. Awesome, pristine actually. The colours on these things are amazing. One thing I would say is don't be discouraged if you have no success fishing for trout. I found that sometimes even if you do everything right, the trout just don't bite. Other days you will pull in one after the other. So if you don't have success one day, just come back the next or when you can and try again. For your free download on these tips, click the link in the corner or in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed this content. Make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button and also all of the equipment that I've used in making this video is in the description if you're interested in any of that. I look forward to seeing you really soon in the next video and hopefully I'll be back in this beautiful part of Australia.